What's up, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. Got another bonus NFL fact here for you that I think you're all going to enjoy. TJ Watt is now a part of a very exclusive club, a club that hosts less than half of a half of 1% of all the players that have ever played NFL football, which is about 0.2 of all players. Because TJ Watt on Sunday Night Football was able to pass the 100 sack milestone. Coming into the contest only needing half a sack, TJ was able to come away with a full one and a half sacks against the Dallas Cowboys. Sack and Dak Prescott first with the help of Nick Herbig during the second quarter, also helping force a fumble on that play. And then he was able to pick up one more later in the game. For TJ, it was his 109th career game, which makes him the second fastest player ever to reach 100 career sacks in NFL history. Only the legendary Reggie White was faster, getting there in just 96 games. For reference, the eldest of the Watt brothers, JJ, recorded his 100th sack in his 120th game, which is actually the fifth fewest games required behind the great White, TJ, of course, DeMarcus Ware with 113 and Bruce Smith at 115 games played. But I mean, turn down for what? We ain't turning down for anything. And you don't have to either. In fact, you can crank that sucker up to 11 and jam out when you choose SeatGeek, a proud sponsor of SVTV and the world's best ticketing app and website. Whether it be an amped up music event or watching Superior Edge Rushers on Sunday, it ain't no problem. It ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. Huh? That ain't no problem. Well, <laughs> SeatGeek has you covered, and so do I. Just use code SVTV for $20 off of your first ticket purchase, and don't you miss out on watching something worth seeing anymore. All right, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next one, and peace out. You got two 100 sacks, and your brother was running around about getting to the club and buying him a new car. I know it's, it's awkward, but how do you expect your brother to react about your milestone? I don't know. I'm, I look forward to talking to him at some point this week. But uh, like I said all along, especially this year, is it's not about individual accolades. It's all about wanting to win. And uh, tonight we didn't do enough to get it done.